Hi guys, this is Satya from Drivin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to install an older version of an app on your Android phone with and without ADB commands. So if you don't take the help of ADB commands, then the process will be somewhat lengthier. But the major advantage is that you don't have to take the help of PC. On the other hand, if you use ADB commands, then the drawback is that you will have to take the help of PC. But the good thing is that the that the entire method is quite shorter and easy to carry out. So the choice is all yours. If you don't want to take the help of ADB commands, then you don't have to take the help of PC as well. That is a good thing, but the process will be somewhat longer. On the flip side, if you will take the help of ADB commands, then you will also have to take the help of PC, but the method is quite shorter to carry out. I'll show you both these methods in this guide. You may carry out the one which is in sync with your requirement. So on that note, let's get started. First and foremost, let me show you for the sake of reference, I've taken the first build of Instagram, which was released in the year 2012 or 13 along something like that. So now if I try to install that app, let me show you the error message that I get. So you, you will either get you can't install this app on your device or in some cases you might also get app not installed as app is incompatible with your phone. You might get any of these error messages. So this will be the case across all the apps which you are trying to install, which is not in sync with the SDK requirement. So the app was made for an older SDK version, but we are trying to install on a newer SDK version. And that is the reason why you are not able to install the app. So in this video, we will simply bypass that SDK version flag and then the app will be installed without any issue. There is no need for root or any other such thing. Just a couple of things are required, which I'll show you in this guide. So first of all, I'll show you how to get this job done without using ADB commands. So first and foremost, you will have to install Shizuku on your phone. I have made a separate guide on, on the same. This is the most important part of this guide, which takes the maximum amount of time as well. So as of now, we will set up and run Shizuku via the wireless debugging. I have made a separate guide and a video on the same, but still I'll show you all the methods from scratch. So first of all, install Shizuku on your phone, then launch it. And apart from that, you will also have to enable USB debugging or rather enable developer options on your phone. So go to the settings menu, then go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. Now go back, then go to system and make sure that you are seeing the developer option. Once you are seeing this option, now go back to the Shizuku app and let me start it from scratch. So now you will have to tap on pairing, then tap on notification options, then enable the toggle next to all Shizuku notification. Once that is done, go back, then tap on developer option. And now enable the toggle next to wireless debugging. You have to enable wireless debugging. There is no need for USB debugging. Simply enable wireless debugging. Then tap on the wireless debugging menu as well. Now tap on pair device with pairing code. You will now get a code in my case it's one double eight two one five and you get a shizuku prompt as well tap on enter pairing code and enter the same pairing code in the shizuku dialog box as well once then hit enter and you should now get a message that pairing is successful now go back to the shizuku app again do a back now tap on start and within three seconds the shizuku should start running so let's just wait and as you could see shizuku is running and via adb so with this, the Shizuku has started running and our task stands complete. Once that is, I have listed out all the steps here as well. You may refer to, to this guide and get the job done as well. Anyways, with this, we have got the Sh Shizuku app. Now you will have to download and install the install with options app from GitHub. It's an open source app. So go there, go to the release section and install the app from there. So just a minute, let me install the app as well. It will take only a few seconds. So this is the install bit options. Install the app and will take only a few seconds. Once that is done, tap on open and app will now ask you to install bit option to access Shizuku. Tap on allow all the time. And with this, it has got access to the Shizuku. And as you could see, this app has quite a lot of features. As you could see from here, you may check mark all the features that you want. But as of now, we only want one feature, which is bypass low target SDK block, check mark it. If you want, you may also check mark other features as well, such as allow downgrade or allow restricted permission and allow text disable verification. But as of now, we only want the bypass low target SDK block. 
So check mark this feature, then tap on choose file and now choose the desired APK file. So in my case, it's the Instagram APK. Let me choose it. Once that is done, now tap on install and it will now bring up the prompt as you could see install is done and this is the app name Instagram. Tap on OK and the app is now installed onto our phone. Let me show you this is the Instagram app, the first build of Instagram app. Let's launch it. Tap on continue. Tap on OK. Again OK and with this we are inside the Instagram app now and you could now easily use the app without any issue as such. So guys, this was the first method through which you could install an older version of an app without using ADB command. So guys, this was the first method through which you could install the older version of an app without taking the help of ADB command. Let me now show you how this could be done with the help of ADB command. In the case of ADB command, you don't have to use the Shizuku app. So let me first completely remove the Shizuku app from my phone so that it will not conflict. Again, let me remove the Instagram app as well from my phone. And let me show you once again. Let me remove this app as well, install it option. I will remove this as well. So we are back to the square one. And if I now try to install the app, let me show you once again. The app will not be installed. The app is not installed. So we will now try to install the app without or rather with the help of ADB command. In this case, you will have to take the help of PC. But the steps are quite easy and quite shorter. First off, you will have to get hold of Android SDK platform tools. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive. And these are the files for platform tools. Once you have done the extraction, you will have to enable USB debugging on your phone as well. So go to the settings menu, then go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. This will enable developer option. Then go back, go to system, developer option and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone. Tap on OK and with this debugging is enabled. Let's verify the same. So go to platform to folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and make sure that we're getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official USB cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure that we're getting an ID. Once you're getting this ID, let's now move ahead. And now you will have to transfer the APK file inside the platform tool folder. So let's get that job done as well. So if your phone is not visible on your PC, then you may simply select file transfer and let me transfer the APK file onto my phone, onto my PC. It will take only a few seconds. So just a minute, this is the Instagram app. So transfer the app inside the platform tool folder. Once that is done, let's rename the app to something shorter. So let's just rename it to app and the complete name becomes app.apk. So once we have got the app, now let's execute the command. As of now, you just have to use this command. And this is the name of the app, which in our case is app.apk. So simply copy the entire command and paste it in the CMD window and hit enter. And the app will now be installed. It will take only a few seconds. And with this, we have got the success message. So the app should be installed now onto our phone. Let's verify the same. And this is the Instagram app. So let's launch it. Tap on continue and let me show you as you could see we could now access the app and use the app without any issues. So guys these were the two methods for which you could install an older version of the APK. In fact the app which we had used which goes by the name of install older version that app also did the same thing it simply executed this command in the back end. It's all about this command itself. So the app also did the same thing and in this section we are doing that manually we are manually typing in the command whereas in the first method the app took care of this command on our behalf over here we are manually using this command to get the job done you may choose any of the two methods depending on the benefits and drawbacks involved so guys i'd also like to discuss a method which involves root so if your phone is not rooted then there is no need to root your phone just to install an apk but if you have obtained root then there are quite a few benefits of using a root method. So first and foremost, if you use the Shizuku app to get this job done, then in case of Shizuku, if you're using the wireless debugging method, then upon every restart, you will have to set up the app from scratch. So upon every restart, you will have to then re-enable wireless debugging and type in the pair device with pairing code and carry out this task. This will require quite a lot of time and effort. On the other hand, if you are 
obtain root then the root method survives every reboot you don't have to restart the process of shizuku every time it will automatically restart on boot so if you have obtained root then simply launch the shizuku app first and foremost let me show you my phone is rooted by magisk i have obtained root now in case of rooted phone simply launch the shizuku app and just tap on start once you will get a magisk request tap on grant and it has now been given the request and you will no longer have to restart it upon every reboot it will automatically restart and you don't have to carry out any task as such which will save quite a lot of time apart from that there exists one more nifty method using which you could carry out this task and that involves the use of an ls post module so let me show you that as well ls post is the newer version of expose framework so we could get this job done using the ls post framework as well for that you will have to install the magisk app to obtain root and after that you will have to flash the ls post framework on your phone i have made a separate guide and a video on the same in short you just have to flash the ls post zip file via magisk and once that is done go to the magisk settings menu enable the zigisk and then install the magisk ls post apk as well so flash the ls post zip in magisk enable zigisk in magisk and then install the ls post zip apk file once that is done do a restart and upon a restart the ls post will be activated and as you could see it's up and running i have made a separate guide and a video on the same as well you could refer to this video or the guide and get this job done anyways once you have got the ls post up and running you could simply use a module the name of the module is disable target api block so go to the download section and search for disable target api block so let me search for that and th this is the module tap on it then go to the release section tap on asset and again tap on the asset apk file it will now download the apk file so tap on download anyway and the app has been downloaded now tap on open and it will ask you to install so tap on install and with this the app is now installed there is no ui in the front end that's not an issue it's installed in the back end once that is done now launch the ls post go to uh, go to its module section then select the disable target api block and enable the module once you have enabled it make sure that the system framework is check marked after that you will have to do a restart this restart is compulsory so let's just wait for a few seconds and once the phone restart the module will be activated and then you could install the older apk file without any issue as such so do keep in mind that these restart might take a few additional extra seconds that's completely normal and nothing to worry about it's just happening because we have just flashed the module so let's just wait for a few more seconds and then i'll show you how to get this job done as well so our phone has now booted to the os so let's launch the ls post app and now go to the module and just verify once that the it's activated so the module is now running so now let's try and install the instagram app once again so this is the older version of the instagram app as i've shown you this is the app let's try to install it this time around and let's check out the result so as you can see the app has now been installed you can tap on continue and the app is now installed let's launch it from here tap on ok in the prompt that appears and you could now use the app without any issues so guys just to round off there exists a total of four methods the first one is using shizuku on a non-rooted phone using wireless debugging in the case of wireless debugging and without adb commands the benefit is that you don't have to take the help of pc but on the flip side it's quite a lengthy method moreover it will not survive a reboot the next method is using shizuku app on a rooted phone the benefit of that is it will survive each and every reboot but on the flip side you will have to do a root of your phone and as you might be aware routing will trip the safety net and play integrity test apart from that you also have the option to use an rooted module which is the disabled target api block once again it will require root but on the good side it will survive all the reboot finally you have the option to use the adb command the benefit is that it's quite easy to carry out but on the flip side you will require a pc every time you want to install an app this might prove to be a, a cause of discomfort for some users anyways we have shown all the four methods you may try out the one which is in sync with your requirement and on that note i round off this video if you have any queries with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching